Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. True Paschal Lamb, October 2. Then he said to them, With fervent desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Luke 22, 15. In the upper chamber of a dwelling at Jerusalem, Christ was sitting at table with his disciples. They had gathered to celebrate the Passover. The Savior decided to keep this feast alone with the twelve. He knew that his hour was come. He himself was the true Paschal Lamb, and on the day the Passover was eaten, he was to be sacrificed. He was about to drink the cup of wrath. He must soon receive the final baptism of suffering. But a few quiet hours remained to him, and these were to be spent for the benefit of his beloved disciples. The whole life of Christ had been a life of unselfish service. Not to be ministered unto, but to minister, had been the lesson of his every act. But not yet had the disciples learned the lesson. At this last Passover supper, Jesus repeated his teaching by an illustration that impressed it forever on their minds and hearts. The interviews between Jesus and his disciples were usually seasons of calm joy, highly prized by them all. The Passover suppers had been scenes of special interest, but upon this occasion, Jesus was troubled. His heart was burdened and a shadow rested upon his countenance. As he met the disciples in the upper chamber, they perceived that something weighed heavily upon his mind, and although they knew not its cause, they sympathized with his grief. As they were gathered about the table, he said in tones of touching sadness, With desire I have desired to eat this supper with you, before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the wine until the kingdom of God shall come. Christ knew that the time had come for him to depart out of the world and go to his father. And having loved his own that were in the world, he loved them unto the end. Further reflection, what would it be like to live with the knowledge that your entire life was angling toward a single moment of suffering, pain, and death? 